We kind of work together with 12 gauge. They've built uh, over 80 trucks for us. Everyone's getting all the pipes, the visors. Basically we get them from PDI at Peterbilt, send them up to Jeff and Jim there at 12 gauge. They, they, we leave them there for two, three, four days and uh, they come back with lots of chrome on it, pipes and some looking rigs. Well, this one's a little different, it's a little special. Uh, we built it for the owner, Scott. He always likes to do things for, uh, for his kids and family related stuff to anything that he does build. We put his three kids' names in the step plates on both sides, the Scotland Group logo on the front. The unit number is 1975. Uh, you know, it's, it's the year he's born, so it's kind of unique that way. Full air ride system, flip bumper, 20 inch box bumper. We cut down the air breathers here so they're a little shorter. The thing that I really love is the, the full stainless wrap tanks uh, with the DEF tank all in one so it looks old school. We got some uh, laser etching done in the back tail light panel for his brother. It's a 2015 Peterbilt 389 flat top. The wheelbase is 280. It's got uh, three and a quarter rear ends in it, 13 speed with a, a Packard MX-13 in it. Uh, we don't have much done to the, done to the motor at all. Um, just basically accessories on the outside uh, to make it look sweet and eye-catching going down the road. So It's got disc brakes all the way around, 24.5 tall rubber with uh, low pros on it, so there, it kind of fills the wheel wall nice. Full 8-inch pipes that go underneath the truck are fantastic. They're sweet looking, cl nice, clean. The truck's got over 300 lights on it all the way around. We got lights all along the bottom sides of the sleeper panel and cap panels, so they're all hid away. So you can't see them physically when you're looking at the truck but until you turn them on. There's no red on the back of the breathers or on the back of the bunk, so it's kind of tricky looking like that when it's, when it's at night. We basically took a new generation truck and kind of made it look old school with like the double J headlights, the different grill in it. Cool little custom things with the, like I said, about cutting the air breathers down. The inside's got all low base seats. It's, it's got the wood steering wheel. The whole dash is all chromed out. Uh, it's got the painted visor on it, uh, the, the 1210 visor. Looks pretty sweet. It's, we got tinted windows on it. Got an aftermarket stereo in it. It's, it's pretty, pretty tricked out inside. We're heading to a Fergus Truck Show with it this year for sure. We've been to a couple other shows locally around here just to get some, uh, you know, get some people looking at it, checking it out. It's pretty sweet driving it up and down the road. Everyone just looks at you, giving you the thumbs up, and just you know, the, they all got their phones out, checking things out, and taking pictures. And uh, it's it's real eye catching. I enjoy driving it. Uh, I drive it everywhere if I could.